so scarce and robust. So please, please, come to the front of Whatever sound we are doing here on your phone, if you call, you will set it so that you may use the latent sound over a long distance. So please, you go through the process again. So please, you call again. <laughs> Executive Officer of the Ghana Digital Center Limited, contestants, award winner, members of the Diplomatic Corps, fellow Ghanaians, ladies and gentlemen. We're gathered once again to celebrate the achievements of the nation's bright and ambitious youth. 
This is the final season of my tenure as President of the Republic. And each moment spent with you has been a great privilege. The opportunity to engage closely with the young minds of Ghana is a blessing I hold dear. Today we're not merely here to witness a competition, but to embrace the boundless potential that resides within the hearts of our young entrepreneurs. I must begin by expressing my heartfelt appreciation to the Chief Executive Officer of the National Entrepreneurship and Innovation Program, Mr. Kofi Ufusun Kansa, and his dedicated team for continuing with this remarkable initiative, which was started by the then Minister for Business Development, the resourceful Ibrahim Mawal Mohammed, and the late CEO of the NEIP, the late Member of Parliament for Adjusto and former Deputy Minister for Finance, the Honorable John Kumar. Through their tireless efforts, we discovered and nurtured the extraordinary possibilities that youth entrepreneurship pose for our beloved nation. Ladies and gentlemen, over the past four seasons, I've been fortunate to witness at first hand the remarkable talent, resilience, and indomitable spirit of Ghana's youth. In this very room, where dreams take flight, we've seen ideas transform into enterprises and passion blossom into purpose. I have no doubt that we're about to witness yet another display of brilliance and innovation, a testament to the unyielding drive of our young entrepreneurs. Allow me to take a moment to honor all the contestants who have graced this stage over the years. From the inaugural season to the present, you set a standard of excellence and inspired countless others to follow in your footsteps. There's nothing more fulfilling than watching a dream born of passion and hard work grow into something extraordinary. The presidential pitch has given rise to four remarkable champions, each with a story that embodies the spirit of entrepreneurship. Aisha Liman, a 19-year-old high school graduate from the historic town of Gwalu in the Upper West Region, captivated all of us with her business pitch, a concept born in her mother's kitchen. Presently, her healthy cereal gland, Vanilla Enterprise, graces the shelves of major supermarkets across the country. A journey from a modest beginning to becoming a nominee for the wo Woman Agri Agripreneur of the Year Award is nothing short of inspiring. We also celebrate the ingenuity of Matilda Asantoa Sapo and Emily Utukwesi, the joint winners of season two. These two young women, then students at Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, Kumasi, dare to reimagine the ordinary, creating sanitary pads from banana stems. Their venture is now on the cusp of receiving certification from the Ghana Standards Authority, and they have become advocates for menstrual hygiene, education girls across the nation. Douglas Akobo, the visionary behind Zoyana Enterprise, emerged victorious in season three with his co weekend business. What began as a small operation in his hometown of Namu in the Upper East Region has grown exponentially, proof of his determination and entrepreneurial spirit. And last year, we were thrilled to announce Caleb Mante and Nicholas Eshan of Relu Interactives as our winners. These co-founders, driven by a passion for education, built a software company 
dedicated to creating interactive learning experiences. Their journey from concept to partnership with major corporations and their devotion to mentoring the next generation of software developers is a shining example of what the youth can achieve with the right support. Ladies and gentlemen, entrepreneurship, as we all know, is not merely about business. It's about seeing opportunities where others see obstacles. It's about turning challenges into triumphs. That is why I'm very proud of the 2,000 plus direct jobs and some 3,000 indirect jobs created by our winners, many of which, of whom, are in rural communities. I must perforce single out Christian Wachi Yado, the visionary behind Pisa Man Chicken Man, whose journey from a campus hostel room to building Ghana's largest restaurant chain is nothing short of extraordinary. I also applaud Ike J. Mensah, the creative mind behind Deaf Can Talk, whose innovative app has attracted the attention of the Minister for Education. His work stands as a powerful reminder of the impact our youth can make when they are empowered and supported. The journey of entrepreneurship is not an easy one. It is fraught with challenges, but it is also rich with rewards. If we are truly committed to addressing the unemployment challenges that our nation faces, we must remove the barriers that hold our entrepreneurs back. We must create an environment where their dreams can flourish and their potential can be fully realized. During my tenure, I have made it a priority to lay the foundation for such an environment. In 2017, with the establishment of NEIP and a seed fund of 10 million United States dollars, the Kufuadu government took the first step was creating the entrepreneurial climate we envisage. Since then, NEIP has grown, launching numerous initiatives that have sparked innovation, created jobs, and empowered the youth to become architects of their own futures. In 2020, we expanded the vision with the Greenhouse Estate Project and the Entrepreneurship and Innovation Center a state-of-the-art facility that now stands as a beacon of possibility in West Africa. Through NEIP's program, we supported 15,000 startups, trained 2,000 and 50,000 young entrepreneurs, and created over 100,000 jobs. This is the legacy we are building, a legacy of opportunity, innovation, and growth. The Ghana Economic Transformation Program and the Hubs Grant Acceleration Program have further strengthened our efforts, enabling existing hubs to expand and new hubs to flourish. These initiatives have created thousands of jobs and have set the stage for a thriving entrepreneurial ecosystem in Ghana. My commitment to the youth of Ghana has always been more than a promise, and has been a guiding principle of my presidency. Through interventions like CAPBOS, You Start, the Ghana Economic Transformation Project, the Ghana Cares About Tampa Program, and those of the Ghana Enterprise Agency, we have rolled out programs that are transforming lives and communities. With some 1.6 million beneficiaries, and more than 2 billion CDs disbursed in loans and grants. We are witnessing the birth of new enterprises and the creation of thousands of jobs. This year, we have once again increased our award package to reflect the cost of living. Government has earmarked 3 million CDs for the top 30 finalists, with the overall winner of the
and the overall winner of this year's presidential pitch set to receive 200,000 CDs, up from last year's 150,000 CDs. As has become the tradition, I will personally contribute 50,000 CDs to the winner. These grants, not loans, are a demonstration of our strong attachment to nurturing the next generation of entrepreneurs. Ladies and gentlemen, we are on the right path. The Kufuado government will continue to intensify its support for our youth-led businesses as we build a sustainable entrepreneurial nation. A nation where dreams are not just imagined. The late John Ampontua Kumar, that we would one day celebrate entrepreneurship in his honor. That day has arrived. With the support of the current CEO of NEIP, in the presence of John's family and loved ones, I declare that starting next year, the week preceding the presidential pitch will be known as the John Kumar Week of Entrepreneurs. In his honor, the first place award for the winner of the presidential pitch will be named the Dr. John A. Kumar Prize for Entrepreneurship and Innovation. John, you served your country well. May the good Lord keep you in perfect peace until we meet again. May God bless us all in our homeland Ghana and make her great and strong. I thank you for your attention. And so ladies and gentlemen, we join your hearts. Please welcome the family of our late father, brother, and friend. The late Honorable Dr. John Kumar will receive with delight his widow, Apostle Mrs. Leanne Kumar, together with the rest of the family. And this is from all of us, the good people of Ghana, acting through the NEIP. And so put your hands together as we celebrate our very own. To you, the late Dr. Thank you very much, family. You may please take your seat. Mr. President, if you... Enterprise, 
Nana Adudankwa Akufuado. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together. Jenny Butuhine, Nana Adudankwa Akufuado. Please, put your hands together one more time. Presenting the ninth, make welcome the in ninth place, Fetty Tower. Also walking away with eighty thousand Ghana CDs. Yours was a beautiful presentation. And we say congratulations to Gina Puama and to Tower. Now, 
now, ladies and gentlemen, between you and your children, we submit this to you, Mr. President, for your announcement. So the winner is Smart Switch System. But receiving in second place, receive Fresh Line, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a hard battle. Please welcome Fresh Line after receiving second place. And thereafter, we behold the champion. Smart line or fresh line, I beg your pardon. You say better luck next time. You fought so hard. Yours was a well deserved win, and we applaud you. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the winner of season five of the President's Cupage, Smart Swim. John Kuma Prize for Innovation and Entrepreneurship given this day by the President of our Republic. And so this is how we unleash a climate of young entrepreneurs. Kuma Prize for Innovation and Entrepreneurship. Put your hands together. Ladies and gentlemen, let's put our hands together one more time.